Hi, YouTubers. <laughs> it's Mary. Been gone for a minute. I just hadn't felt like making any videos because it wasn't nothing on my mind. But it was on my mind, but I couldn't find the words to say it. I mean, if that makes sense. Or maybe I didn't feel like talking about it. But uh, I was just thinking about it again today. Um, this thing with Benny Hinn. Oh, back in oh, years ago, maybe 25 years ago, he came to Dallas. And a friend of mine asked me to go with her. And I, I didn't go. But I, I told her to be careful. You know, Benny Hinn, I said, he could wave your hand and you would fall out. She said, girl, I ain't going to fall out. But when she came back, she told me, she said, Mary, we were sitting in the balcony. And she said, Benny Hinn took a handkerchief or something and he shook it at the people who were sitting in the balcony. And she said, Mary, it came like you at a stadium a football stadium or something, and it's your turn to do the wave, and you automatically do what everybody else do. He said, before you know it, I was falling. She said, I made sure I didn't hurt myself. I said, girl, you are kidding. Her name is Marlene. I don't know if she's still alive, because Marlene was, is older than I am. But she fell backwards just like everybody else. And I was thinking to myself, I said, I wonder if I had been there, would I have fallen too? I probably would have because I'm real easy to uh, get under those old whatever that is, uh, hysteria things that people go through. But I could, I can imagine how it would be like when you're sitting in a stand and here come the wave and he, you, everybody's getting up and sitting down. So you participate. And it could be a part of mass hysteria or something. I don't know. But I was thinking about that. And even when they say on the day of Pentecost, when everybody starts speaking in tongues, they it was every, you're not, you know, I'm, I don't imagine everybody felt that way. But it was a, quite a few people, the mass of the people were speaking in a different language. And I remember, I think I was like 16 or 17, they had a, a revival at the church and they had tarot services and stuff. And somehow or another, you, that, that feeling when they telling you to say these words and you say them real fast, you have to clap your hands real fast. And you have, you have to say, thank, 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 thank. And it's a part of some kind of meditation and, and you go into a zone. You say that and you get dry mouth and you start spitting and foaming because you're saying this word over and over. And that's the way they told us to do. To get the Holy Ghost. And they were all in your face. This is at the Church of God in Christ. That's the way they do that. Spitting in your face. And it was hard to concentrate. Because people had bad breath. And just spitting and telling you. Say thank, 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 thank. And, and you get all tired tongue. And and then you will speak in tongues. You keep saying that over and over. Yeah, It's just, I don't know, crazy. But I, I got involved with that. And... I was sincere about receiving the Holy Spirit. So the next day, I, I prayed and fasted, and I was at home, and I was praying. When nobody left with me, and I was praying, do you know this spirit, the same spirit, came over me, and I started speaking a different language. I'm in the bathroom by myself, and I would just... Every time I opened my mouth, it was just a different language. And I, I I took myself, I got myself out of this, whatever this was. And I went to bed. Mind you me, I'm 16, maybe 17, 17 years old. So I went to bed. And about 4 o'clock that evening, my mother came in and woke me up. And when she woke me up, she said, Mary. And I opened my mouth my eyes and when I began to speak to her 
I was still speaking in tongues, a different language. And she said, oh, Lord, my child has got the Holy Ghost. And I said, Mama, I can't stop. What's wrong? I, and I didn't know it was going to be like that. And she said, you have got to go back to church tonight. So I said, do I have to tarry again? She said, yeah, get on the altar again because people ain't going to believe you got the Holy Ghost because they didn't hear you speak in tongues. But I heard you, but get back on the altar. And I said, okay. That night, I got on the altar and tear it again. And it's a process, you know. You, They pray and they anoint the head with oil. And then the guitar players get this plan and they sing these songs. And tambourines are all in your face. And you got to close your eyes and you got to go, dang, 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 dang. You go through this meditative mantra again. And it's and you gotta work yourself back to this. It's I don't know. I don't know if you never experienced that, it's hard to explain it, but I went back through that and I spoke in tongues again. But now I don't go to church. I mean, cause it's a dangerous place. I mean, cause these people you pick up all sorts of spirits and they always want to lay their hands on you. Are they going to prophesy something bad is coming on you because you are a backslider? And and I just don't want to hear all that. And I, I, I don't know. And since I've been, I've been away from church ooh, for a long time, maybe 30 years. But when I'm in pain now, or I stomp my toe or something like that, I automatically, when I open my mouth, I'm speaking in tongues. I don't know what I'm saying. I could be uh, speaking something in, I don't know what it is. It, it may not be a godly language, but I'm speaking in a different language. But I said that to talk about, you know, these this thing that comes over people and I don't guess it's mass hysteria if you buy it's not hysteria if you are alone and you do this but you can take a crowd and the crowd can be influenced by one person you can walk outside look up at the sky and point Everybody that comes outside and see you do that, they are going to look up and everybody's going to do it. And in a crowd, let somebody take off running. People are going to run, run, run. They don't even know what they're running from. But I did look up hysteria and it, it's been going on for a long time. Even these girls in the Salem witch trials, they believe that was some form of uh, hysteria. It's been going on for a minute. That was a uh, an old uh, town in the old country where the people started dancing and they couldn't stop dancing. So we've been doing that for a long time, but... I'm not against, um, you know, churches or people uh, tearing Holy Ghost and all that. I'm not against that, but I don't know what that is. But to speak in tongues like that, and people say that the Holy Ghost is a keeper and all of that. And I don't know. It could be, and I ain't going to say it's not, but. I know I'm not the best, uh, and I never was the best Christian after my mother died. When she died, the my world changed. Even the church changed. The people in the church treated us like dirt, and they knew we were poor, and they knew we needed help. Do you think they helped us? Not one soul in that church helped us. I managed to see a, a member in the church today. I was at Walmart. Do you know this woman looked like a burnt old evil witch? 
And I'm pushing my basket, and I saw her, but she dropped her head and turned to the side like she could make herself disappear. I looked at her, and I said, Sister Houston. And she kind of halfway looked up. I said, this is Mary. Oh, I, I know who you are. I said, well, how you doing? Mm, I'm fine. I'm fine. But she's not fine. This woman is miserable. You can see how what's lacking is a lot lacking her in her life. She is not happy. But you saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. But there's no kind of light coming through her. But it's it was it was like, oh, it's like, oh, you almost have to save yourself when you just from being in her company. But the 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 church I don't know I don't mean to talk about the church and the Pentecostal uh, what they call it uh, Church of God and Christ none of them but I don't con I don't have too much to say about people saying they have the Holy Ghost and I whatever that is I went through it and I did do that but the, another strange thing is. I went to a rebirthing class. This is way after I left the church. I was getting into everything. And people telling me, you're going to run into some kind of satanic or whatever. But I was not afraid. Because I was looking for what is true. And I went through a rebirthing class. And it was phenomenal. But this lady was standing over me. I'm laying on the floor. She was over me, and she was talking to me. It was soft music playing. She was talking to me and telling me how to breathe and how to moan as I breathe. And, and once you get into the moaning part, it's kind of like these people in your face telling you, say, thank, 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 and clap your hand. It's the very same thing, but it's not as loud and hard. Do you know when I, in the, whatever I was doing, it was very emotional. And I started crying and I kept breathing and moaning. Because you, it sounds like you are having sex, that kind of moan. And as I felt like I was breaking through, uh, visions of my mother came through my head. Just, and my father, it's just, it was weird. But, I ended up speaking in tongues. And when I tell uh, my brother and my sister about it, I said, that's weird. But he said, do you know that the devil has a tongue? I said, I didn't know that, but I, I don't know what that was. I did speak in a different language. And after the the rebirth and session was over, because you have to really get yourself together before you leave, I asked the, they call her the midwife. She's the one that worked with you. I asked the midwife, what was that? Why did I speak in tongues? She said, Mary, have you, she asked me, she said, have you ever spoken tongues before? I said, yeah. I said, you know, in the holiness church, you do that. She said, well, your spirit and your higher self knows that language, whatever it was, that you were doing. And he was just recalling that. That's just a sense of recall. She asked me, did I have any visitors out of the past? I said, yeah, I saw my mother and my father. And they wasn't angry or anything. It was just a peaceful encounter with them. So she was saying, it's okay. Don't even question it. And she was saying, every now and then, we need to rebirth ourselves. So I hadn't done it in a long time, but she told me how to do it. And I started doing it after I left that uh, hall. It was kind of like a meditation hall. When you get in the bathtub with the water, getting com a comfortable place with a pillow behind you, you're going to just relax in this water. And you're going to meditate on whatever makes you feel good. But you must take deep breaths and moan. <sighs> <sighs> like that. And you'll get yourself in a trance. And 
before you know it, you're you're totally relaxed. And it's, you're not supposed to, when you feel yourself being afraid, it's time to stop. But that's why you have had we had a midwife with us because if you're alone, and you might get afraid and you'll stop it. But I, I since I know what to expect, it didn't. I didn't get afraid. But I'm gonna do it again, maybe this weekend, maybe. But I, I don't get in the bathtub. I take the showers and things. So I'm just gonna do it in the bed with the breathing because when I was at the meditation hall I wasn't in the, sh- in the water I was just laying on the floor and was able to do it so look up uh, rebirth and exercise it's some videos about rebirth and look at look at that up but it is a good uh, technique for you to do when you need to clear yourself because the other day oh I was feeling real Ooh, yucky and I don't know what it was but my spirit knew what I needed and I know I needed to go to the graveyard sometimes when I get like that I, I go to the graveyard and I, I just get a, a quick sense of peace so I, I went through the graveyard and you know just sat there for a little while and I um, my heart rate and my pulse, respiration, all of that just slowed down and I felt real good. I, I wasn't there no more than 10 minutes and I came on back home and just relieved and I almost forgot I did that. But your soul knows exactly what you need. And a lot of times it's not, you know, to see a therapist And it's not a pill you need to take. Your soul knows exactly what you need. You just got to remember to consult your soul. You can do it. You it's it's your soul and you it belongs to you. You can consult it and get any information you need. So this is all for the day. I can't say when I'm coming back, but this is all I have to say today. Bye bye.